everybody, and welcome to WUNU, your weekly Universal news and updates. Universal Orlando has been open for two weeks now, and I'm going to tell you today what has changed in the past couple of days. So with ra- rambling on about nothing for an intro, let's talk about the biggest change of this week, the Jason Bourne Stuntacular. The Jason Bourne Stuntacular is now doing unscheduled soft openings, where they're going to be showing most of the show, not including some of the bigger parts. Now, disappointingly, like I said, we have it unscheduled, so it will happen at random times, but hopefully they'll be cool and people can get to see them. We also have a look at what the queue looks like, and it looks like this. It's got a couple of movie props from Jason Bourne. I haven't seen any of the movies, so I don't know if these are big things, but they look very cool. And we also know that the pass holder button for next month, July, is going to be a Jason Bourne button, so hopefully we can look forward to Jason Bourne being fully open to the public in July, which is going to be amazing, and hopefully the show's going to be good. Now, speaking of pass holders, for anybody who doesn't know, there is a pass holder lounge in Universal Orlando near the camera shop. And normally, it's only open for a few hours in the very beginning of the day. However, recently, it's been open 24-7 on the park, or as long as the park has been open. And if you're one of the first hundred pass holders to get to it in the beginning of the day, you'd actually get a free pass holder lanyard to put your pass in, which is very cool. Also, for when you're going into the entrance now, if you have a pass and you're a pass holder, which most people are because of how the coronavirus is affecting Universal and who gets to go in at this time, we now have a special line to get through security faster in the beginning. So it helps because we don't have to wait in as long of a line anymore. Now, speaking of things that are happening quicker, we can talk about the Velocicoaster over in Islands of Adventure. They're building up so much of this thing. And last week in my video, I went over everything that they've put up, like a Heartline roll and some other things. And this week, they haven't built as much as they built last week. However, they have put up an airtime hill that has a curve coming out of it that still looks awesome. Now, disappointingly for the Velocicoaster, which is just what I'm calling it because of its common nickname, we don't have any information on what it'll actually be called or its theming. What we mostly know right now is it's probably going to be coming in 2021 and it's a launched coaster that's not going to have shoulder harnesses. So, yeah, that's kind of it. However, if you go down the path and stay into Jurassic Parkland, Uh, we can go to Raptor Encounter, which recently got a facelift, yet again, something I've already covered. But now, there is a baby Velociraptor that you can get to meet, and it is just adorable. I mean, look at this thing. It is the best ever. I want to do it so bad. Um, however, that's all that I've got for Universal Changes this week. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you next week. Bye!